Let's look at constraints and how they work. Each time you sketch, a constraints palette appears. You can see it over on the right. Constraints maintain relationships between lines. For example, if I want these lines to be parallel, I'll click the parallel constraint and then click on the lines. And now they're parallel and they'll remain so until I delete their constraints, which I can do by just selecting and hitting delete. If I have two circles and I want them to be concentric, then I'll just click the concentric constraint, click on the circles, and now they're concentric. Constraints can help make your drafting easier. For instance, if I want these lines to be perpendicular, I'll click on the perpendicular constraint and then click on those lines and now they're perpendicular and the advantage of working with constraints is that you can change their dimensions while maintaining the integrity of the shape. See I can change this dimension and these lines are still perpendicular to each other. Let me draw another rectangle. What if I want the midpoint of this rectangle to be right here? I'll click the midpoint constraint, click this line, click this line, and it stretched it all the way over here. So that's an overview of how constraints work and what they are.